up? Just, was it, did you feel like you were less than 100% just because you had not quite No, not at all. I mean, uh, I knocked my rust off in practice mm -hmm. the first couple of days, got beat up on me and stuff like that. But uh, when it came to game time, I, I was ready to go. Nothing had ever changed. I mean, uh, my game time preparation has been the same even even with these weeks off. And I mean, I was ready to go come, come this game. So it was uh, it was definitely a blessing to get back out there. I know you were obviously have to get back out there, but you're coming out, you're playing that offense and this atmosphere. Just really like to get out there for the first time and you know, play that team. Oh, it felt like amazing. Back, right? It felt amazing to be back, and I mean, to play a team like Oregon, it was uh, definitely an honor. And uh, I mean, uh, they were a great team, and it was a uh, great opponent to come back to. Jack, Jack, as an older guy, you know, what's your message tomorrow when you get back or on the plane tonight? I and mean, how do you try to make sure that this doesn't snowball? We got to snap our minds clear and uh, get ready for a new week and a new opponent. We got the Florida Gators, another tough team, SEC team, and uh, we got to be ready for every, everything that they're throwing at us. And uh, they're going to take a look at this film and they're going to they're going to see some of our weaknesses and we got to be prepared for it. And uh, you know, it's going to be a new week, and I, I think we'll handle ourselves the right way and uh, prepare the right way and uh, get ready to take take them out on Saturday. Those weaknesses, do you feel like they're things that are easily corrected? Yes, sir. As the week go by, you know, we correct our mistakes week by week. And uh, as a team, I feel like we've gotten better. And uh, playing an uh, opponent like this, they definitely expose you where you're weak at. And uh, we can definitely see where our weaknesses are. So we just got to go and look at them and correct ourselves. Which set players need to be in starting tomorrow? Before you guys get back, come in on Sunday and start learning through this. Do you sense that the leadership is there, the guys will be in the complex? Oh, most definitely. The leadership has always been there. And uh, I mean, uh, we're going to take this thing and run with it. We got a lot of big opponents, a lot of huge schedule left, and especially going through this gauntlet right now. And we just got to continue to keep our minds focused and, and just play our hearts out. There's no way you could have expected the final four to be what it was today. So, what do you kind of believe how it got there as you went through the game? I mean, None of it was expected. Uh, Oregon's a great football team. We knew that coming out the gate. We knew they were going to be fast, and we had to adjust to their tempo. That's something that we've been practicing on. And everything that we saw on the film, on the field today, we, 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 we knew what was coming. So, I mean, there was no surprise. The, the Ducks are a great football team, and uh, we're a good football team as well. We just got to prepare and uh, continue to keep going strong and uh, playing 63 football like we have been before. And uh, you'll see a different change in uh, what we do. What was a lot different when you got out there, though, against them? You said you prepared for that? Uh, I mean, they're, they're the same football team that we saw on film. Nothing different. What would you say you will get better? What, what do you expect uh, you'll see from your team? Just better togetherness. I mean, uh, unity-wise, I feel like our defense, we uh, we were together at the beginning when things started to go a little haywire. We felt like we kind of fell apart and became individuals, and that's where we got to continue to sit together and uh, build our bricks stronger, you know. Our whole our whole goal as a team is build this thing brick by brick, and uh, it's it's about one-on-one -on -one matchups, and we got to make sure that every individual has their brick as strong as possible to build a foundation, and that's what we're doing as, as a team. Coach, you preached all week about they were in this space and make big plays, and they finally started doing that was it was it kind of what you expected or was it okay here they go we're prepared for this but they're still managing to do it we knew once they got riled up they were gonna you know start doing some big things and get us out out of out of our game and uh, we tried to you know console ourselves and get back into our game and you know they they ran away with it that's something that we couldn't control but uh, as a team what we can't control is next week and uh, next week we have Florida and we're looking forward to uh, taking them on and we know they're gonna be a great opponent and uh, we can't wait to get back to work on Monday. Is their pace about what you expected, even though you're gearing up for quick pace from there offensively? Was it? Their, their pace is fast, but it wasn't the fastest I ever played against. So. It was like to get back out there. But. It was great. It was definitely a blessing to be able to play with my teammates. I mean, watching these guys for the last two weeks and the energy and the, the just the excitement that they displayed. You know, it's been it's been such an honor just to be around this team and to play for Coach Jones and. To be out on that field today, I gave them my all and I gave, gave everything I could for the balls. And uh, hopefully next week uh, when we do that again, uh, we'll become victors. Is your thumb okay? And we, we did, No pain whatsoever out of the thumb. It was it was like I didn't even know the cast was there at one point in time in the game. It felt really great, and I was so glad to be back out there. Did you, what was Mariota, was the combination of